let's hit on that last series. The Royals sneak into the fifth spot, um, and they are set to play the Orioles, which, again, John, makes me sad because I really wanted to have the bet between us in this series American and championship possibly. and i would have and i would have been I mean, much more positive on the tigers if they were playing the orioles but hold on hold on i don't throw this to will i want you to start with me on this. i will i was going I to look, a tangent here i i, I will let oh, you go boy. so i'm gonna get the mute button ready so let me let me just prep like again preface this uh the royals come in a little bit wounded as well um they kind of really cooled off uh i think they were like under just under 500 in the last two months of the year and um you know again there was a chance where they looked so good for a wild card spot and they almost fell out but they faced the orioles who are getting a lot of guys back john the floor is yours i want to take our audience and the three of you back i'm about years to meet ago. you i swear to god i want to take you back <laughs> 10 years ago to 2014 the orioles we lost the World Series, but not even me. No, it. we didn't. We okay. Yeah, that's one way to <laughs> to put it. All right. Um. Anyway, so the Orioles played the Royals in the ALCS. I thought that after beating the three-headed monster of the Tigers, we were going straight to the World Series. I was so excited. I was so happy. We got swept. We went into a tailspin over the span of four years, and it just got progressively worse. Now, thanks. Now we are <laughs> back ten years later, and you have Orioles Royals. I want to win this one it's so bad for my soul. It's not even funny. the The Royals are my or one of my most hated teams because of that because of 10 years ago i cannot handle another loss no another sweep to this franchise after, especially after the that city's football team what they just did to to our football team in january i can't handle it orioles you have the ability to make a run you are building momentum here in these last couple of games. Use it! You can use it! You are better than this team by all accounts. Thank you. So, are you blaming the Royals for the 47 loss season, or the 47 win season, excuse me, in 2018? All right, just clearing that. <laughs> Among, amongst other things, um, man, look at the like looking at the series. It's really hard to predict because I love the Royals from what I've seen for them, um, in in June, July, and a little bit of August. But they've cooled off a lot, and I think they are thin, um, from where they were back in July. I think the Vinny Pasquantino injury has been huge for them. Um, that's like a, a premier bat in your lineup that you lost that has kind of, um, now made it a hole there. Obviously Bobby Witt's still there. The pitching has been still good. Um, but Will, I mean, what are your thoughts on this series? You were, I, I keep saying it, but you were the guy that was hot on the Royals coming into this year, not playoff hot. Um, but yeah. you, but you liked a lot what they did and, and we know mm -hmm. who the Orioles are. I think the Royals are a shell of the team that they were. Their offense has been really bad for the last couple of weeks, and there is no sign in my eyes that it's going to come out of it, especially out of this Brave series where the Braves were still fighting for something, and the Royals, at least in my eyes, they were still fighting for seeding, and I think it potentially could have mattered with who they faced. They were not productive at all versus the Braves, really, even though they won one of the three games. I think the Orioles offense has found itself again in the last week. Now that everyone's healthy, if Adley Rushman can join that party, then watch out because they could explode in the postseason. And being that they're playing all three games in Baltimore, I think the Royals are about to get smacked. 
I I I will continue to say this. I think the Orioles got really lucky. <laughs> the Royals. I I legitimately, and I know John will argue this, but I legitimately think the Tigers would have won that series against them. And now for the Orioles, I see a path to a potential, you know, World Series berth or, um, at, at the very least, uh, a championship series. And that's what you series. need sometimes. And that's what you need. As you said, I mean, I think you said it perfectly. They are a shell of themselves from what they were. Are they still, you know, a, a playoff team? Like, do they deserve to be here? Yes. But they have a lot of questions now. They kind of limp in. The the game's being in Baltimore, like you said. Um, and, John, I mean, you kind of alluded to it. I'll let you hit on this point as well. The Orioles are starting to get healthy again. Um, I still think the pitching being as hurt as it is could cause concerns for maybe not this series, but as we move on in the playoffs. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, the bullpen is a bit worrisome. Uh, I don't really think that we have a uh, closer, to be honest. Sir Anthony Dominguez. At least Sir Anthony Dominguez has postseason experience and was kind of closing for the Phillies in 22. Thanks for making that. Is that what we're calling that? <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, they Sorry, had my a, shirt says Orioles, but it's blue to hide it. They had a, I they had <laughs> a proven postseason performer in Craig Kimbrell, and then they DFA'd him. I don't know what that was all about. I, I don't know. They saw know. what the Phillies did with him in 20th and were like, no, 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 no. It is kind of funny. They used him for the whole year, and then they must have seen what he did the last playoffs, and they're like, you're not coming with us to the he postseason. He had an ERA of like here. 10 and a half since the yeah, All Star break. Was, no, I know. It was rough. I joke. He had in my absolute opinion, he roller coaster. In my opinion, he could have been the, the All Star closer, but yeah. he fell off. Over Holmes. Now. <laughs> Clay Holmes, what a guy. Sorry, go back to your point, John. All star anyway. with the major league leading like 12 blown saves. <laughs> Sounds like all-star. an all star. Sounds like an all star to me. That pinstripe uniform he's wearing has nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Anyway. Ah, Red Wing. Red Wing right there. Anyway, um, in terms of. Dude, he looks like the villain in Aliens. You're barking up the wrong tree. I'm not a I'm not a movie guy. Oh my gosh, that's funny. On anyway. our next podcast about uh, Tyler watching. Are you talking about the, are you talking, are you talking about the alien itself? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, no. I'm talking about the part where he like where the it like comes down from the ceiling, like all big arms and legs spread fifty different directions. Oh, the queen. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um... Yes. Correct. <laughs> Anyway, in terms of the Orioles, the, their bullpen has been a bit rocky. I think they were just tired uh, going into these last couple games. I mean, but who isn't tired in September? I mean, hell, you know, seriously. I think sweeping the Twins carried some is giving us some momentum, and I like I like this matchup for us. I really like our chances, but I. I'm having flashbacks, guys. I'm having flashbacks. Literally, I'm seeing royals in the trees. <laughs> John, well, Bobby, slowly uh, fade in a blue filter over John as the fa- the flashbacks are sinking in. I, I, you know, as you said, I mean, the Orioles have had their struggles with the bullpen, but uh, as you said, everybody gets tired. But hopefully for them and for you, John, which is that is this? That's more purple okay. than it is blue. I was by gonna the way. say that blue did not. That's work a that's a that. Ravens purple, right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> I just oh, I, I loved how red it made his freaking face. I had to just cut to it as soon as I did it. I just I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. John's rooting for the wrong team. He wants Diamondbacks clearly with that filter. Um. If yeah. They brought back their purple unis as a permanent. Oh man. Oh, wait. Uh, speaking of which, uh, no. there was... What the f*** well, did I just do? Uh, while Bobby's doing that, it was announced today that the All-Star game is going back to uh, each team wears their own team's uniforms, yeah. which I'm excited about. As no, that's quick, that's well, nice. You, g- you can see... Yeah, back to the postseason. You yeah. can see Craig Kimbrell in his Orioles jersey next year. That's great for you. <laughs> wait, um, sign him back. I had a great joke prepared, and I feel like the timing was just gone now, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Uh, hopefully for the Orioles and their fans, the, the Orioles are 
woken up once September ends and their bullpen can get it together in October. But I like that. Oh, yeah, I know. Wake up the bullpen oh, when September ends. Yeah, but I like it. It, it, it do, felt do like the tying test. Too. Yeah, we'll wake everything. the bats up too. <laughs> wake them up when September ends. It's October now, and the Orioles need to be ready. Let's get into our October individual. Ready? Hold on. October October ready? Red. Look, right <laughs> Look there. At that. Look at that. Right there. Look at it. Hey, we did um, it. We did it. All right, let's get, let's get into our brackets, and we'll Sponsor kind of. Sponsor us, MLB. Sponsor us. 